viewers, my name is Zach Hardy, and welcome to the Holy Cross Crusaders Franchise Mode Season 2, Part 33. This week, obviously, as you can see, we are 5-0. and oh. We are going up against the 2-3 and three Baltimore Ravens of the NFC North at home in Alumni Field, which is a uh, very... I still disagree with the name of the field that uh, Holy Cross... Uh, or uh, the name that the that Holy Cross decided on for the field, but either way, uh, we are going into this game with uh, guns a blazing. We are looking for our sixth win on the season, and uh, we're looking to continue this undefeated streak that we have going of uh, five games so far. The first five games of the season, um, we had a very 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 tough battle against excuse me, against uh, the Atlanta Falcons, I believe it was. Yes, the Atlanta Falcons last game, we only won 14 to 7, which is a low score if you ask me, at least for the Crusaders. So we're hoping to ratchet or ratch no, ratchet that up, I I guess a couple notches against the Ravens, especially considering they are 2 and 3 and the Falcons were 3 0 and 1. So they hadn't, you know, for, they hadn't you know, felt a loss by that point in time. Ooh, that was a bad kick. <laughs> uh, so we're hoping to... Oh, my God, that was a horrible kick. That was a bad kick. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that may have just been a, uh, a little mix-up. I may not have pressed the button quick enough. But, uh... All right, Terrence West goes down. Gain of nothing. Hmm. Yes, we have no choice here. Oh, come on. Come on. You got to stop him there. Love the call bullshit. by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well. Calling for absolute the bullshit. Come on. It. You gotta stop him there. Come on. Oh, come on. This is a blitz. There's no reason for why he should have gained eight yards there. Fucking bullshit. Suck my dick. Bullshit. That is just absolute horseshit. No reason for why that should have happened. Alright. They jumped. It's going to put them back five years. So they're going to be up at... They're going to be up at our 43 yard line. Okay. Second and seven. Flacco here on second down. And a catch made by Come Dutch on, Raven. what the fuck? And he gets this inside they are the wide fucking open when they absolutely nice should not catch be. To pick up the it's bullshit. This is a fluke. How much yardage they needed, figured what they had to do, and were able to beat the man coverage for the completion. This is West. Stop him! What the They'll fuck? To the Stop him! Fuck targs! Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, this is bullshit. We are already getting screwed at the very start of the game. This is just not fucking fair. Stop him! Let's see, you get a first down on a blitz, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of everybody on this team. <sighs> Alright. Oh, it's a run. God damn it! I had the fucking opportunity to take him down and I didn't. Fuck me! Son of a cunt. Ah, damn it. We would have stopped him there, too. We would have stopped him there had we went for a blitz. I knew I did not like the idea of that play. Of course, he gets his feet in bounds, because fuck you. Fuck you, you stupid faggots. Jesus Christ, you can't win in this game. Christ alive. 
Yeah, I swear to God, if they get more than a yard here. Yeah, fuck you, stupid faggot. Fuck you. We're not getting hit with bullshit this time. There's no way. Look out, Yes! Alright, we stopped him. That's not a first down. Not a first down. How is Joe Flock on 5 for 5? Alright, they took up the entire first fucking quarter. For a field goal. Fuck that bullshit. Bullshit at its finest. Alright, field goal is up and good. I probably could have blocked it had I tried. I looked at that and I wasn't being blocked. Either way, uh, we can put up a touchdown here. Let's hope. And that field goal caps an 11 play drive. That's a lot of I'm going to blame to the bullshit first kick or bullshit kickoff. Uh we going up against. Oh my god. Uh, I found a hole could we get to it though. Hurry up offensive. Fuck that, right? Fuck that and fuck me. God damn it! Right, I'm getting very annoyed with this here. Alright. What the fuck? Put your hands up, faggot! Fuck you! I'm not playing cornerback. Fuck you. This is bullshit. Suck my dick. That's not five yards. Fuck you. This game hates me. You can feel the animosity that this game hates me. No, I'm sorry. Why did I use the word animosity? You can feel the hatred in the air. The aura that this game gives off. Um, yeah, fuck you. Get tackled by a group of fucking whales. Ha. I'm going to regret playing this. I'm going to regret using this play. Because we are not good at this kind of play. We got lucky. They dropped it. We got lucky. Justin Tucker is going to what? Normally he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply no, dropped it. Stop. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is seriously. They're gonna try it. Here's Flacco. Yes, we sacked him. Tavian Whitehead with a sack. We're, we're already doing way better on the sacks in the beginning of the season than we were before. Okay, we got the ball back. It was a fluke, but we got the ball back. We go for the play I want. Yes! Kingston Zenick. All right. All right. One for two. This is only his second pass. Christ alive! All right, Mark, you got to do something for me here. Come on, man. Help me out. Uh, that was on me. There was a hole down the middle, and I was too far to the right to be able to get, get to it. Okay. We're only nine minutes in this game. Yes. Oh, and he could have broken through, too. You want to look at it in the technical speak. Why it should just broke two tackles. Ah, I was running forward, not to the right. This game likes to screw me, so. So they're operating in the red zone. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on, They'll Phil. You gotta help me out here. Give it here to his back. Fuck you! Back at the God damn it. He Fucking block, there, faggot. Fuck off. Now. Son of a cunt. CJ Mosley in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. Whoa! We talk about players blitzing all the time. What the fuck? And sometimes called just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start, right? Son there. of a bitch! Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and start. Fuck you! I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot. Of that is absolute that bullshit. I pressed it at the exact fucking time. I just got player. screwed. Fuck that. This is bullshit. Fuck you, Blitz. You're not getting more than two yards. Fuck you. Fuck this game. A lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they we have wasted so, the entire the fucking first half on these on faggots, they got five yards. Say, what the fuck? Feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that, this is absolute yeah, bullshit. Bit, Maybe you'll play a Complete bit anarchy. You the on second down, Flacco to throw. Now oh yes, Donovan Bonneville! Holy shit! Finally, we pick off a pass that bounces off their hands. Holy shit. Never would have expected that to happen. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. You play in the back seven on defense. Okay. Up to the six. All right. We can score here. Um, I know exactly what I want to try. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh, nope. Fuck you. Touchdown. Suck my dick. Ha ha ha. Yes. All right. What the fuck? I keep pressing it at the top and it never fucking reads it. What is happening? Why? What is going on? Why does that keep happening? This controller is fucking Either this controller is screwing me over or the game is screwing me over. Because honestly, I should have a 7, I should have a 310 lead. There's no doubt about it. It should be 310 right now. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give it going back. Of course. A fucking of course. Pick up 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Of course. And now they're in the hurry up. Play action. Flacco. Looking for in there. Come on, intercept it. That's caught in. Suck my dick! It's a big play there. Fuck this bullshit! I'm getting beyond pissed now! We're just getting screwed at every instant! Fuck you! Yeah, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you, Flacco! Fuck off! You're not wanted here. Fuck you and fuck your team and fuck your mother and fuck your brother and fuck your sister. Fuck your father. Fuck them all. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. Great job, shit birds. Stay on your own side of the field. God damn it. I'm getting beyond bewildered. Fuck this. Take to the air again. Five. Yeah! Suck a dick! Peter the sack machine! Now they take a timeout. What? Just push them out of field goal range. Come on. We can do it. Third and long for Joe Flacco. Throwing left side here and it's complete. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses, 
Let's go ahead and say, why aren't they hunting? I'm perfectly fine with them running out the clock because we still get the lead. I'm savage as a Ravens. That's surprising. I would actually have Tom Savage. I would rather have Tom Savage playing as my starting quarterback than Joe Fire. <laughs> I know that's a bad decision overall, but I mean it makes sense to me. Jesus Christ, we just got destroyed. Okay. Uh, so we have no choice. Again, we'll see the pistol here, and on the ground they go with a running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Now we're just continuously here. We're getting get screwed. by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. At some point, I'm going to get screwed over. I'm like, uh, uh, and they'll run it here. And he's brought down. I was called. The 35. So we're in. Oh, my apologies, Larry. I wanted to hear the report. Somebody's in a hurry. So we're going to get him right to quarter number three. Return this kick like the god you are. Okay, just you know, go to sleep on the 26. Okay. Fine, sure. That'll work. That'll work perfectly fine. Won't screw me over in any way. They take the field. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Um, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just I like this idea. Oh, okay. They'll run it now out of the gun. We got, the we got four yards. That's good. That's good for me. Good. I'm just, I just continuously get scared of turning the ball over. Because I know this game is very capable of screwing me over. With punts and sacks and bullshit. It's just... Alphonse has only thrown four passes and it's the second quarter. They were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You okay, put that whole on. package together. We've got to utilize this, this time. I was about to say, do not overthrow him. I will slit your throat. Okay. Alphonse has been a mediocre quarterback this season, but we've been running it a lot more often. Primarily because I feel as though we can get something moving on the ground like we did last season without it registering too harshly on us. And I feel as though the run works better in a balanced offensive scheme than a uh, pass heavy or a run heavy. Um, season. This is apparently a guy. Looking left side, he's got it complete. First down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. All right. Alphonse is just getting much better this season at getting us past where we want to be. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two way go. No! Popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by the long time charger, Eric Wettel. Fuck this. This is bullshit. The Ravens offense getting ready now he swatted it downwards and it magically went back up in the air. Fuck you. This is bullshit. Four yards again. Terrence West doesn't even get more than three yards on average. Fuck you. This is absolute bullshit. We're, this is bullshit. Okay, we're not making a mistake this time. We can't make a mistake this time. We need the ball back. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah! You thought you could get away with us playing zone this time. Did it fucking work. Suck a dick, faggot. Ha! All right. We get the ball back. That's good. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. 
We want the ball back. We want to score. We want to put points up. We want to end this game. But we want to make it a comfortable lead. Now this will do the job nicely. Of course, be out of Lee, just take the, the fucking line. ball. Christ, live. You take that off the bounce. Something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? Well, we need to move it back up the field. That's what we need to do. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. And they'll go on the ground. Come on. Four Ravens should not be there. That's absolute horseshit. Don't give me that bullshit. I swear to God I will return this game. And they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. First down, motherfucker. First down, motherfucker. First down, motherfucker. Suck my dick, motherfucker. Suck. Fuck. Bitch. Suck a dick. Fuck. Suck a dick. Fuck. And we've got a dandy here. A one point game as we begin the fourth. So here we go. First and ten now. Well. They just keep having us go to the outside when everybody stacks out to the outside. Fuck, come on! Come on! It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They're gonna hurry back to the line now. Looking to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. He can't bring him down. Haha, you thought you could push me behind the line and make me lose yards, but fuck you. Shut up! Shut up! How far you let your guy go, because he might wander into some tough coverage. They're gonna look to throw. Flushed out right. Oh my god, could this be the first time this season? Ron Guglielmo, Ron! Ron! Yes! Yes! Touchdown! dangerous wide receiver. William Guglielmo. And the Packers add six to their lead. I had to press it twice, and I'm fearful that I keep ha that I'm gonna have to keep pressing it twice. Otherwise, it's gonna screw me over. Right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving. Sometimes he just takes it and runs away from everyone else. And he ran it into the end zone. And the defense, they've got to adjust there quickly. That's tough on them. <laughs> That's really tough because Jesus Christ, he got beat the fuck down. Into the hands of the receiver, okay. And then he was gone. I'm surprised that Alphonse was able to move out of the pocket that quickly and get the to toss off. The and they're coming off a three right. and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get the Jesus Christ, Joe Flacco got destroyed. Tito gets credited with that sack, too. Um, midway through the season, so probably like the eighth week or whatever, uh, we're going to end up going into the stats, so that'll be a full episode. I was about to say, there's absolutely no reason for why you're moving up that fast, or moving up that easily. Short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. Bullshit, I had him, I had him, I had him. Come on, yes. Yes, 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 okay. Give us the ball. Ah, I dove too quickly, just barely too quickly. And uh, Tito would have had another sack there had I just kept chasing him. That, that kind of pisses me off. Okay. Goes out of the back of the end zone. Yet I have a 20. Um, I don't know what the game plan here is. Jesus Christ, he's trying to make him fumble. Because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? Okay, we want to run down the clock as much as possible. Because the secondary, they really look close. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments. Oh my God. We need another first there. We need another first right now. Right now, we need it. 
Oh my god, we're... Oh no. Oh god. Block for me. Block for me. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. The offensive line did its job. And we get to the two-minute warning. We need to hold out one more first down, and we have the game. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't turn the ball over now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, I almost had it. I almost got away. Oh, Jesus Christ. I went for I went for a swipe with my fucking finger. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Another first down. We clinched the game. Well, he's got 100 yards. We can we gonna share that. We know he has 100 yards on the game. August is a beast. That's a first down. Just raw on the clock down now. Just raw on the clock. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And he'll give it here to his running back. Three yards on the pick. And 119 yards. Mark August probably averaging 100 yards per game, which is amazing. Fuck, why? Uh, I'm clever on the sticks. I don't know why I didn't break away there. Uh, I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. Now the Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third down. Could be a blitzer. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. On now is the Packers punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Aww. Okay. Well, we didn't get the playoff, but <clears throat> it took 27 minutes. Um, this game scored even less point or even fewer points in the Falcons game, which I'm shocked about. Uh, 27 minutes is all this episode took. I am astonished because usually these kind of games or these games take me roughly... 40 minutes to complete. Um, I'm also not upgrading these guys because then it's, it makes it a little bit unfair. But uh, we are 6-0 and now. And we go up against the Carolina Panthers. I believe against them at home. Yeah, they are at home. 5 and a Fuck my life. They are 5-0. and We are 6-0. and um, we are running away with our division. Holy shit. We are one of only two. Oh, God. It's the only two fucking undefeated teams left. Um, Falcons have one loss. It was to us. Seahawks have one loss. Chargers have one loss. Uh, so, yeah. The uh, Crusaders up to 6-0 and now. Um, we are more than likely going to have a bye week in week 10, I believe. That may be when we decide to go for, uh, yeah, bye week in week 10. That's when we'll, we'll look at the stats. But, uh, for now, that's going to do it for, uh, the Holy Cross Crusaders franchise mode episode, or I'm sorry, part 33. I'd like to thank you guys, all of you, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Subscribble. I'm Zach Hardy, and I'm signing off.